Hello everyone, my name is Abrar and you are watching Technology. In this video, I will be installing a custom ROM on my Samsung Galaxy S6. The name of this, this ROM is Alexis ROM and the version is 6.2. I will be showing you the installation and quick review of this ROM. So, let's get started. This is the Aroma installer of this ROM. So I'm clicking next. I agree with the terms and condition of this ROM. And here are the few change logs. Hit next. It's asking for either to do factory reset or keep my data apps like that. I prefer clean installation. So full wipe factory reset is recommended. Next. It's asking you to choose your device model. As I have SMG 920i variant. So I will be selecting this if you have any of this for example if you have S6 Edge hit this and other variants hit other I am hitting this one next it's asking the features to be installed on this ROM so I will select everything because I have to review this ROM so each and everything I will be selecting choose according to your preference and choice The list is very big as you can see and we have some Note 7 apps also and few Google apps. I will be selecting everything just to review and next it's asking for system UI. What kind of system UI you want to install either stock system UI or rounded system UI or good luck. I prefer the rounded system UI it's beautiful and so I will be clicking next and here it's saying don't install this thing on t-mobile you want to keep stock alexis mod max medium alexis mod stock uh, i will choose alexis surround mod stock next and flash this only if you have t-mobile choose this mod if you have only t-mobile so clicking next it's asking for stock animation what kind of animation you like stock animation stock animation plus ambient display ios animation etc etc the developer is saying over here the best I have seen ever is iOS animation so I will be clicking next with this and what kind of boot splash you want the developer has given a 6, a 6 stock and Note 7 obviously I will be choosing the new one which is Note 7 boot splash next and some kind of warning okay and yeah next hit install it's installing I will be back after installation and when the device gets booted up it is completed now let me just reboot and show you the note 7 splash screen as you can see I'm getting Samsung Galaxy Note 7 boot splash on my Samsung Galaxy S6 and uh, it will take a long process to initialize this ROM so I will be back after it gets settled boot it up and it's asking for initial inputs let me just skip this and I will get back here now the setup have completed let me just show you the ROM and its features we have uh, edge screen over here edge bar icon over here we get all this even if you don't have S6 Edge we get these features and going into settings we can customize this what kind of panel we would like to keep and going to the download we get uh, so many panels over here we get paid we get free we, here it is the new one so that's nice we can even download it from the Galaxy App Store by going this way and uh, let me show you the dialer we have this dialer with white background over here we can directly access contacts from this dialer and we have settings like this and we have a messaging app over here we can even directly go to contact from here 
we have a new Note UX browser which uh, works pretty much fine no issues with this it's faster we have new note ux gallery we have three toggles over here pictures albums stories all our content will appear here we have uh, these settings edit share animate collage and uh, settings cloud sync story sharing etc etc and we have this new note 7 camera over here as you can see the icons are new swiping it to the this side will give you the access to all options like auto pro panorama selective focus slow motion hyperlapse food virtual shot video collage live broadcast live broadcast etc and we have a few bugs as of now in this Note 7 camera. Uh, the first one is panorama. Panorama doesn't work here. And uh, hyperlapse also doesn't work. Whenever you hit hyperlapse, we get this force close. And uh, everything works fine apart from these two things and swiping it this side will give you access to the filters and the filters can be downloaded by hitting this it will directly take you to the galaxy app store and swiping it like this will take you to the front camera and swiping it at the this side will take you to the back camera we have settings settings are pretty much the same we have got timer, shutter, sound, enable, disable option over here. We have got HDR auto, HDR on, HDR off toggle over here. We have flash, enable, disable icon over here. We have this beauty face option at the bottom. We can record from here and capture from this. This is the basic thing. And what else? The camera is pretty much good, pretty smooth but it has only two bugs which I have already mentioned now these are the Google apps and uh, the developer has given us add away application which uh, basically disables the app, uh, ads from each and every app and even for the browsers also that's nice and uh, we have got uh, the calculator is new one we have got air command just like the note phones note 7 or note 5 have this whenever you remove pen you get this kind of option uh, as of uh, as we don't have pen on s6 we need to tap this we get two options uh, action memo and uh, s note so that's nice and uh, we got google calculator we got this is the note 7 clock application let me just remove this thing by doing this this will get removed and contacts we have contacts over here there's the new one ported from the note 7 we have got Dolby Atmos support on this ROM which enhances the quality of audio via headphone and also via the speaker. We have got uh, email, Note UX email application over here. I will do this later and we have got faster GPS. Uh, I haven't used this much but uh, it will, you need to you need to select your con continent and then region then you will notice slight difference in the navigation it will be slightly faster than the regular one I haven't used that, that much so I could not tell each and everything regarding this app and we have got a galaxy app store over here 
we have got gallery which i have already showed we have got gear fit manager i haven't used any gear device so i cannot tell regarding this app we have got google we have got a note ux browser which i have already sh shown we have got a sim toolkit we have got a memo we have got messaging we have got a google messaging the music music is new one unfortunately i don't have any soundtrack to play and show we have got newer version of this music player we have got my files it is directly ported from the note ux as you can see it's the new one new look we can directly access to our apk files which is stored in our device so that's nice we can directly jump into each and everything which is shown over here and uh, we have got peel smart remote dialer i have already shown we have got google play music play store s health we have got s note which i have already shown we have got s planner this is the new version note ux s planner we have got we have got s voicer ported directly from the note 7 or you may like it you may like to call it as note ux We have got Samsung Gear, we have got Samsung Notes, which is a new thing. We can write notes with the pen, we can scribble we, with our finger also, we can scribble or we can write, so that's nice. Samsung Notes app and if you add your samsung account it will directly cloud sync this all your notes we have got uh, slide sync we have got viper for android which enhances the quality of sound i will do it later and uh, we have got this dual kind of settings over here we have got some new options like global roaming i don't know how it works but it's there and we have got smart manager directly i can be accessed from here there's the new smart manager which is ported from the note 7 we can directly go to battery from here we can directly go to storage from here we can check the ram from here and clean it we have this antivirus kind of thing it says i have some viruses in my device after restarting it will take the action i will do this later and uh, every time when you open this it will show you a rating like 90 95 97 or below that optimize now if you hit that it will close all apps and look for something suspicious activity it will clear everything and it will give you 100 100 score everything is cleared so it says your device is running excellent and you have got s pen over here obviously it won't work but we have got this options We have got floating messages over here. Whenever you get a message, it will pop up over here. We have got advanced features, Galaxy Labs. Uh, let me show you Galaxy Labs. So we don't have any launcher kind of thing. We get everything on the home screen itself. This is the Gal Galaxy Labs and we have got Easy Mute, Smart Alert, Direct Call, Palm to Swipe Capture, Smart Capture, Pop-Up Gesture, Quick Launch, One Hand Operation, it will reduce the screen. I don't know how it works but it's there. We can even identify unsaved numbers with this feature. If you enable this, works like a true caller. 
we have got game launcher game tools we can add our games and access directly from there this is the game tools we can record our gameplay and we can even record our expression during the gameplay gameplay we can uh, for audio we can direct we can use microphone or game audio so that's nice and uh, we have got theme support we have got uh, this new kind of battery saving mode we have uh, three patterns over here of mid max off is the disabling of power saving mode mid is the normal one it's actually applying it now medium power saving is enabled and uh, if you hit this max it will directly take you to the ultra power saving mode so this is a new feature which is ported from the note ux this is the ultra power saving mode uh, i guess everyone is familiar with this ultra power saving mode so no further discussion on this ultra power saving mode we have this uh, new kind of uh, notification panel we we have new icons like wifi calling volt hotspot etc wifi calling and volt doesn't work as of now maybe the developer will fix this in the next version this is the rounded notification panel which i have uh, mentioned during the installation as you can see this is the rounded one let me just focus it yeah as you can see this is the rounded one and it's look it looks beautiful than the stock version in display we have got night clock etc it doesn't work if you have the regular flat s6 the night clock works only on the s6 edge variant as of now and that's it and if you are an uh, indian user who is using the geo 4g sim then the volt doesn't work on this rom one of the member of uh, xda have posted in comments patch of voltv volte i guess mr alex is the developer of this rom will add that feature in the next version so that's it let's look at the widgets before wrapping up these are the widgets which we get with this rom let me show you one thing this is the device maintenance icon if you hit this it will close all running background apps actually this is the smart manager icon which will just disable all the running background apps so that's it i hope you guys like this video if you like this do hit that like button if you have any questions uh, do ask me in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your s6 friends this is abra signing off you guys have a great day peace